All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. It is time for another video. So say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man, Log TV and Choo Choo. And let's get started on the Knives Fast channel. Okay, so it's time for a review of the Max Ace Black Mirror. Now, this one's been around for a while, but this is a slightly different version. This comes from mm -hmm. White Mountain Knives. Guys, check out Justin over there, whitemountainknives.com. You can get 10% off and free shipping with code KNIVESFAST. Uh, doesn't really uh, help me, you know, I don't get a commission or anything, but it helps you guys. You get 10% off, and then Justin agrees uh, to send me some knives, which is also cool. Um, by the way, this is the Knives Fast channel, and if you guys would, I would appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, and go over to Instagram and put in Knives Fast and follow me over there as well for great, well, I think it's great content. I mean, I guess, can you can you call your own content great, Tyler? My son Tyler's walking through. Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, wow. I can call my own content great, according to Tyler. So that's good. Uh, I, I hope it's great content. Uh, you guys usually let me know if it's not, <laughs> if I've missed something or slacked up. So uh, try very hard to put out good content for you guys on a regular basis. So again, Max Ace Black Mirror, uh, this has got the hole. It's got flat titanium scales with kind of a stonewash finish. Now, this one did come with a little scuff here, which I thought was interesting. Um, definitely unboxed it that way. We have kind of a bronzed uh, titanium clip. We have a bronze pivot collar. We have a bronzed uh, titanium backspacer. And then we have um, uh, satin hardware, satin pivot, uh, satin screws. You do have an over travel stop, uh, over travel and lock bar interface. Uh, and you do have a very interesting blade shape. Now, I was joking in my review. My unboxing, guys, it looks like uh, they're channeling the Civivi Quibit here with a, uh, a bottle opener. I do still wonder if you could do that with that one, but uh, that is where the stop pin, that is the stop pin uh, interface there. You can see when it comes around, uh, that is what interfaces with the stop pin to stop the blade from going all the rest of the way back. Kind of an interesting placement for the stop pin, but it works. You do have some uh, kind of jimping here on the backspacer, Max Ace on the uh on the clip there there you go uh you do have uh, a bit sticking out of the pocket it is not reversible there is not a lanyard hole you have your lock bar um uh relief out here and my only real comment there is it is pretty jagged okay uh, we'll talk more about that in a little bit and that means going in and out of the pocket it's probably as your pants kind of loop over it's going to slowly uh rip away the uh you know when you look at that it doesn't feel i'm gonna do it in the pocket one more time here yeah it's it's fine it doesn't look like there's a ton of ramp i will say coming out there's more snap uh than going in it goes in just fine it's good retention no problem and again i love that pivot collar very cool nice chamfered off on the edges no problem there and again that finish is cool whoops okay uh might ought to move that first that was interesting uh that was uh not not the knife's fault that was mine now i will say the detent could be just a little bit stronger um, it works it's not a problem but it just in my book it would be nice if it was a little bit stronger see that um every once in a while you get a fail uh failed um opening thumb opening literally works every time for me but you gotta mean it you hear a little bit of uh kind of the detent ball just kind of can you hear that let's see let's put it up here by the mic yeah just a little bit probably just needs a little bit of oil um you know what i need to look hold on let me get my flashlight and look here i think this guy is running on washers but it's it's such a tight construction down in there. Yeah, it looks like Teflon washers, actually. They're, they're um, yeah, so I don't believe it's bearings. It looks like Teflon washers uh, to me. Um, uh, by the way, on this knife, you have incredible access to the lock bar and a great non-scalloped chamfer. Woohoo! Now, you can see uh, it just kind of slides down there. That's cool. And then you shake shut. It's not, you know, super droppy or anything, but that's fine. You do have a very good sharpening choil with a 
tight termination there. So keep your finger back. Now you can kind of choke up in this flat, but again, stay back. But again, good, good, good sharpening life on this one. And I love this kind of sheep's footy re reverse tanto look with that pill shaped hole. You are full flat ground all the way up. Now you can see, yeah, there's still uh, the plunge all the way up there. So again, it is full flat ground. It is very thin. Now in the hand, uh, you do have a full, full four finger grip back here. And again, choking up, you got some room left over. Uh, I will say, I just wish this was chamfered a little bit more. Um, you know, it's not bad. You do kind of feel uh, this when you bear down. Uh, you don't really feel the clip. The clip is in the right place where it's not a problem. Uh, but if you're just doing a basic cut and you're not bearing down, this grip feels great. Again, contoured is always better. Chamfered heavily is always better. But that, you know, that's just a nitpick for me. There's nothing wrong. It is a thin handle back here, thicker up here. Um, definitely get a good pay with your finger in that groove right there. And that is good for cutting. And speaking of cutting. All right, let's see. I just kicked the tripod. I'm sorry. All right, guys, this guy is S90V and it eats cardboard, whoops, for breakfast. And I slipped out of the cut there. Uh, but you can see it definitely smoothly cuts. Uh, very nice. As far as penetration, a little, you know, it's it's not bad. It's just, you know, it's 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 got a tip, but it's a higher tip and it definitely uh, will do it, but uh, it's not its uh, primary objective. Uh-oh, Powdered Toast Man is uh, wanting to join in on the review, so we'll put him right here and he will fall over apparently. Ah, boom. All right, fine. Um, so really nice. I mean, I like the stonewash finish, uh, especially now that I got it all dirty from cutting. Uh, very, very nice. And again, uh, I like the way it feels in the hand. But again, remember, because you have, and again, this is why some people don't do this big cutout here. Um, because you have a cutout and because you have a chamfer, this part right here, when you bear down, can be right there just a bit on the, you know, annoying side. So just plan to like choke up. That's what I do. I choke to right here and then you're bypassing that and it's not really bothering you at all. Um, on the billboarding, we have black mirror CPM S90V. Um, you actually see the detent hole, which is kind of a weird thing. I wish they had just brought the handle out a little bit to cover that because I feel like the detent hole as you're cutting is going to get some funk down in there. Um, and eventually that's going to be something you're going to have to clean out. Um, you know, it is what it is. It's not a big deal. Let's put Powdered Toast Man out of the way before I pop him opening this thing up. It's not a big, big deal, just something to mention. Now, we are centered, um, and lockup-wise, we are at, like, shoot, 40-ish. Uh, um, no, no lock rocker blade play. Um, and again, just a cool knife. Now, here are our comparisons. Uh, it is smaller than the Rat 1, both in handle and blade. Definitely a more turned down shape, which gives you that tip forward grip. Uh, so that's cool. Um, you've got uh, about the same length as the Rat 2. Very, very, very cool. Now I am going to do a separate comparison video uh, with another knife. It'll probably be a short video, uh, but it'll be pretty fun and cool. Now there are options of this knife with inlays in them, but I'm going to tell you about this one, which is in stock at uh, White Mountain, and you can get 10% off with code KnivesFast. It's $142, 7.48 inches overall, so 7.5, 3.15 on the blade, S90V, uh, 4.33 inches on the handle, 3.52 ounces and made in China for Max Ace. Now, again, there are, um, I just said that one's 142 uh, for 140, where is it? 148, you can get a copper carbon fiber inlay. Actually, that one's not in stock. Uh, oh, there's one, copper carbon fiber S90V. Yeah, uh, for 148. So either way, you're going to get a nice knife. Again, a couple little nitpicks, nothing big. So guys, let me know what you think of this one. Give me a thumbs up, 
comment down below. Uh, thank you, White Mountain, for sending this. Uh, it'll be going back soon, and thank you guys. Uh, do all the things like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, and thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.